Kong Skull Island is the latest movie in the now official MonsterVerse following the 2014 Godzilla movie. So yeah, they've already established Godzilla in his own movie, now it's King Kong's turn, and eventually they're going to bring them both together and have them get into an epic throwdown. So it's the 1970s, the Vietnam War is going on, and John Goodman's character, Bill Randa, assembles a team of scientists and military personnel for an expedition of an unmapped island named Skull Island. And when they get there, they find that the island is inhabited by man-eating pterodactyls, giant water buffalo, and an extremely pissed off building-sized gorilla. Unlike the 2014 Godzilla movie where Godzilla appears in the film for like 10 minutes, Kong actually has quite a bit of screen time, and the scenes that he's in are pretty amazing. The highlight of this movie is definitely Kong. He is the star and main attraction of this movie, and is absolutely huge. If you compare him to the Kong in Peter Jackson's 2005 King Kong film, the 2005 Kong pales in comparison. The Kong in Skull Island is probably like 5 or 6 times the size of the 2005 Kong, and the scenes that feature Kong in Skull Island truly invoke that feeling of, holy shit, that is a big ass ape. The director really captures the magnitude and size of Kong in this film, almost as if he's a god, and seeing Kong wreck shit in this movie was just a blast. I was pretty impressed that they managed to gather such a talented cast for this movie. You have John Goodman, Tom Hiddleston, Brie Larson, John C. Riley, Samuel L. Jackson, all wasted in this movie. The weakest part of this film is definitely the characters. These characters have no depth to them, and you barely give a shit about any of them. With the exception of Samuel L. Jackson and John C. Riley's characters, the rest of the crew are just bland and hollow. John C. Riley plays a pilot who is stranded on Skull Island for almost 30 years and gives more backstory to Kong and Skull Island. Samuel L. Jackson plays a military colonel who was brought onto the group to serve as protection for the expedition. Eventually, something happens in the film that makes his character have a vendetta against Kong, and he pretty much becomes Captain Ahab. John Goodman plays a scientist who believes that there's monsters roaming the earth and assembles a team who goes to Skull Island. Tom Hiddleston plays a tracker and mercenary that was hired by John Goodman's character to lead this expedition because he has experience navigating through jungles and rough terrain. He's pretty much like your poor man's Nathan Drake without the humor or charisma. Brie Larson plays a photographer who has experience working in rough areas such as war zones and was brought onto the team to photograph the trip. The rest of the cast are just a bunch of red shirts who pretty much do nothing in the film but serve as monster food. Which is pretty sad because they have Toby Kebbell in this movie who is a talented actor and played Koba in War for the Planet of the Apes, and he was just wasted in this film. You could have put anyone in his role and the movie wouldn't have skipped a beat. There's also a Chinese actress in this movie that does absolutely nothing but serve as a hook to bring in the Chinese audience once this movie is released in China. When characters die in this movie, you don't care because the movie hasn't established that these characters are people you want to root for. There was a scene in this movie where one of the characters sacrifices himself so the rest of the group could run away, and instead of feeling sadness for this character, I just laughed at how cheesy and cliche this scene was. I was actually hoping that more of the cast would be eaten or stomped on by the monsters on the island, cause yeah, absolutely no f are given to any of these characters. I also found myself being bored the majority of the time the movie focused on the human characters and just wanted the film to get back to Kong. In the end, I found Kong to be predictable with characters you're probably not going to remember. But the movie does deliver what you want, which is King Kong just wrecking shit. And because of that, I'm going to give this movie a meh. Stay till the end because there's a post credit scene that will sure to please you Godzilla fans. Thanks for watching guys and if you enjoyed this video, give it a like, share it, and subscribe if you haven't already. It'll really help out the channel. Until next time, Panda out.